everyone, this is The Professor. I wanted to take a little bit of time to do a unscripted response, rant, whatever you want to call this, to a couple of people. Now, I was joking earlier today on Skype with Zeme Anonymous about doing a rant on these top five or top ten hottest characters enter X series here list, or enter X genre, subject matter, whatever list, and the way people react to them. And the more I thought about it and the more I viewed on this, the more I actually felt like going ahead and making this rant and this response to certain people. And the video in question that started this whole thought process is, of course, the Super Charmander 1 Top 5 Hottest Video Game Characters list. That has been commentated to death already, despite the fact that it's not that old. It's already pretty much turned into a bandwagon as far as I'm concerned, and everyone's just going to go after him now. And I find this kind of pathetic. Now, if you'll let me, I'm going to go ahead and start off and just say something to Super Charmander 1 right quick. Alright, man. Whether you've got the hots for Chun-Li or Cammy or Bayonetta or that one chick from Mortal Kombat, I don't know her name, don't care, I don't even like the series that much, Tifa from Final Fantasy VII, or even Kasumi, which was a highly predictable choice as soon as you mentioned Dead or Alive, by the way, and that's all well and good. If you want to make a video about that, fine, cool, whatever, do it. Awesome, fantastic. You had the inspiration, you had the want to do it, you thought it would be fun to make, so you made it. Now, here's my only issue with your video in particular, and this is the issue I have with most of these videos overall, and that's the fact that when people make these videos, they think that attractiveness is only skin deep, because that's all you brought up. All you brought up was the looks. You talked about having a sweet voice every now and then, but you didn't really bring up anything about the character themselves, or then you said that Tifa can fight really well. That right there is my biggest issue with your video and with these top five, top ten character list overall and in general. is because they focus on the physical looks, the physical beauty. There is more to a woman than just how they look. There is their personality, there is their heart, their mind, their intelligence. Everything about them goes into this. Because believe me, I have met many women in my life that have been extremely hot and very attractive. And then after talking with them for five minutes, I was sick of looking at them. Because they were just downright bitches. Believe me, beauty is not only skin deep. There is a lot more to take into consideration in this sort of thing. But you decided to make your video, you thought it was fun, you enjoyed making it, I'm sure, and you liked the video, and that's what really matters, is that you enjoy making the video. It's not really what other people think about the video, it's what you think about it. Now, the other two people I need to bring up, in particular, is going to be SomberGuy20 and Leak Casual Gamer. Now, I'm going to start off with SomberGuy, because I was talking through him throughout the day via text on Skype, and he's actually trying to turn a new leaf. He's actually trying to be a different person from what he used to be, and I believe him. I think he's really trying, because I've seen a little bit of improvement in his videos. Because his commentary on this particular video, I have to say, is a lot better than what he used to do. It really is. And for nothing else, he actually attempted to make jokes. So, he has actually improving to a certain extent. He's getting a little better, he's working at it, and he really wants to be able to get past what he was. But there's a few issues I want to bring up to you, and this is kind of me saying my thoughts on people who commentate on these sort of videos. Now, here is my issue with this. The second you saw the video, the first thought process you had through your mind was, oh my god, this guy's a pervert. He made a video about the top five hottest women in video games. That makes him a pervert because he has a sexual attraction towards an animated character. You see, Somber Guy, this, there's a very important thing you need to know. Within the mind of a man who is not homosexual, who is straight, they will have this hardwired into their mind. It's something that pretty much is the same for every man. And that is... Women are attractive. They're very wonderful to look at. They're very beautiful. We like looking at them. We like seeing them. That's the thing. And gaming companies understand this. So they purposefully make their characters attractive to bring people in. Now, you go off and call him a pervert. Just because he made a video stating that he thinks something is attractive. Just because he thinks a couple of characters are attractive. And this is going out to everyone 
who went into the commentary that they made on this video with this mindset that they're like, oh God, he's a pervert. I'm going to call him out for this shit. You made this video because he made a video, he made a video about attractive characters. What is so wrong about that? What is so wrong about finding something visually appealing? What is so wrong with looking at a picture and finding the thing that is there visually appealing? What is wrong with that? There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. If you look at it, it is a normal thing. It is actually part of a healthy sex drive. And I know this is kind of weird for me to say this about a 15-year-old, but even then, psychology still counts. It is a normal thing. It's healthy for someone to look at something like this and say, wow, that's attractive. This is normal. What is so wrong? Really, I want someone to answer this question for me. What is so wrong about looking at a picture of saying Cammy and finding her attractive? Or say Morgan from Dark Stalkers and finding her attractive? What is so wrong with this? Is there really, truly something wrong? Is there something that is in someone's mind who looks at this and says, this is a very attractive character, and it goes in their mind saying, oh God, their mind is fucked up because they find this character who was drawn to be visually appealing, visually appealing. I don't see an issue with this. So, Somber Guy, the whole thing, your biggest point was that he's a pervert. And you even pointed out that if he goes with Cammy over Chun-Li, that means he is immediately a pervert because he chose Cammy. Think about this, Somber Guy. The guy's 15 years old. And I can tell you right now, myself, when I was 15 years old, if I looked at a woman in a dress and then turned around and looked at a woman in a swimsuit, I'm going to immediately say that the girl in the swimsuit is more attractive. The girl in the swimsuit is hotter. I'm a 15-year-old guy. I'm going through puberty. My testosterone's running. I'm starting to become very, very interested in women. Very interested in the women body. That's how it works for a 15-year-old. That's very normal, very natural for that to be the case. Was it surprising for him to have Tifa on top of the list over all these other characters? Yeah, for a 15-year-old to pick someone who is fully dressed and not scantily clad. Yes, that is very unusual. But that was your biggest point. That was your biggest thing. And here's one of the main reasons I don't understand this. Don't understand this in the least bit. I myself have made jokes. I myself have commented about these kind of animated characters before. There was a commentary where I made a whole scene about how making a montage of Riku from Final Fantasy X-2 was completely and totally cool and awesome. I've made a joke about Kami being hot myself. I've made jokes about even in the most recent review I did of Chrono Trigger about Ayla, one of the characters, being a smoking hot character. And yet, no one called me out on this. That's one of the things I don't understand. You people go after this guy for making a video like this, and yet, someone likes me does it, and you don't say anything. Is it because I'm more popular, or what is it? It really doesn't make much sense to me whatsoever. But now I want to move over to the leak casual gamer, who made a commentary on Somber Guy's video. And, for the most part, I don't have too many issues with it. I really don't. I think the commentary part of itself was, for the most part, solid. But then there was your closing statements, the thesis of your commentary, your closing statements. And you even thought in your head, and you even commented saying that you're going to get some, you know, negative feedback, or you're going to get some dissenting opinions against what you said. And it's true, I'm here giving you some. The first thing I want to bring up, though, is that you commented saying that Somber Guy did a horrible job with this video because all he did was make jokes and you thought they weren't funny and here's the thing humor is subjective so eh, if you didn't think they were funny then they weren't funny to you but here's the issue I saw you comment on ZM Anonymous's commentary on this exact same video and allow me to point out a little point of hypocrisy for you ZM Anonymous made a commentary that was nothing more than a joking commentary. Sure, he raised one or two actual points against him, but for the most part, all he did was make jokes. But you found these jokes funny. Which, in turn, you made a comment on his video saying, My God, this was so much better than Somber Guy 20's video that I did a commentary on. It totally washed the flavor of that out of my mouth. So, in essence, what you're saying with this comment is, Somber Guy is not allowed to make a video, a commentary that is nothing more than a joke commentary. But ZM Anonymous is. So, you're, high, you're putting ZM Anonymous on a different pedestal with Somber Guy because you're saying, no, Somber Guy, you're not allowed to do this. But ZM Anonymous, you are. 
do you see where this is going? From your comments, put together, put in a little bit of a logical thought process behind it, this is what we come out with. One person's allowed to do it, but the other one's not, because you find this one's jokes funny and this one's unfunny. Do you see how this works? That is hypocrisy. Just because you find a certain joke funny doesn't mean that they're allowed to make the joke, but the other person saying it in a different fashion is not allowed to because theirs isn't as funny as this guy's. The other thing I want to bring up, and this is a huge part, huge, huge, huge part, and this was the thesis of your whole rant from what I could tell about character listings, and this was the thesis of it. You talked about how it's okay for you to have these sexual fantasies. And I agreed with you. I was very, very excited about what you were saying because I was agreeing with you about you talking about sexual fantasies and actual desires and attraction and how fantasies and attraction are different and how just because they might have a thought process and fantasize about, say, Chun-Li doesn't mean they're wanting to have sex with them in real life. It's a fantasy. And I agreed with you about this. Because it is all well and good to have this sexual attraction to an animated character or to a video game character. It is all well and good. But then you kind of ruined it. You really ruined it here. First thing I want to talk about is that you stated that it's all well and good, but we don't want to see this on YouTube. So it's all well and good for him to have this, but he can't make these videos because you don't want to see it on YouTube. Do you, do you see how this works? You stated... We don't want to see this. Nobody wants to see this is what you said. You said nobody wants to see this. So you're laying a law down that you're not allowed to make a top five or a top ten character list because nobody in the world wants to see it. Uh, did, who made you Hitler of YouTube? You don't have the right or ability to say you can't make this kind of video because I don't want to see it and everyone else doesn't want to see it. I'm sure there's someone out in this world who was actually interested in seeing that video. Once again, it ties back into the reason we make videos and the main purpose for making videos. It's not for subscribers. It's not for the view count. It's not for the likes, the thumbs up, the comments. It's not for this. It's because we enjoy making videos. It's because we want to make videos. Not because we want people to see them and like them. That shouldn't be our purpose behind this. Super Charmander 1 wanted to make the video. I'm sure he enjoyed making the video, so he did. So who are you to come off out of the woodworks and say, we don't want this shit on YouTube. So get this shit off of here. We don't want to see this shit ever again. We don't care what you want. Who, where did you come from saying this? Who, who do you think you are, really? And the last and major point, because a lot of people are bringing this up. I've seen this in comments. You said it yourself. Oh my god, it's like Guptill 2.0. It's Guptill 89 all over again. Oh, it's the hottest Sonic female characters list all over again right here. What the fuck is wrong with you people? This is nothing in comparison to the goddamn Guptill list. Okay, th th this is nothing in comparison to that. Let's just put them together. Super Charmander 1 said the hottest female characters were... Ch were Kami from Street Fighter, Bayonetta, Kasumi, whatever the hell that chick is from Mortal Kombat and Tifa. Five characters who are fully adult age if you go by the characters. If you look at the character bios, they're of adult age. Yeah, he commented only on their looks, but he was fully understanding of this and he isn't denying it from what I can tell in videos, which is one difference between him and Guptil. Because when Guptil got called out about only commenting on appearance, he threw a little piss fit about how we were just overreacting. Here's another little issue. Guptil had what? Oh, there was this one little thing. Um, what was it? Underage characters? So you're saying that him being physically attracted to Tifa from Final Fantasy VII is the exact same thing as Guptil putting a character like Cosmo or whatever the hell her name is, the little six-year-old girl or whatever the hell, on a top ten hottest or top 10 most beautiful character list, or, and all these other underage characters. You're saying this is exactly the same? You have got to be kidding me. There's got to be some off-wiring in your mind. You're, you've got to be missing something there to actually put this together and say, oh, this is just as bad as Guptil. Oh, my God, we need to ream his ass for this. So to end this all off, everyone, the main thing I want you to take from this, and I know I didn't cover it very much, but the main thing I want you to take from this is... 
Stop throwing shit fits over people making top ten hottest character list or top five hottest character list or whatever. Stop throwing a shit fit about this. It, there's no reason to go off and say, oh my god, he finds this character hot, we need to tie him up to a wall and beat the shit out of him for it. There's no reason for this. None whatsoever. It's completely and totally pointless and useless to throw a shit fit about it. Okay, guys? Just really. It, it, there's no purpose behind it. And to tell you the truth, the Gupto video, had it not been for his underage characters that he put on that list, had it not been for that he only focused on looks, if he would have actually said that, I like these characters because this is their personality, and didn't have the underage characters on there, and everyone started coming out and saying, oh god, you're just a fur fag, look at you, a fur fag. I would have defended Guptill's ass to the end for the sole fact that he has got every last right to be attracted to a furry. He's got every last right. It's just like, are you going to go off and say, oh, this guy's gay, that's sick? Because he has a sexual desire to be with other men? Really? Someone has a sexual desire that's different from yours? Are you going to hold that against them? No. It doesn't matter if they are into furries. If they're gay. If they're a lesbian. Just because their sexual preference or their sexual desires or fantasies are different than yours doesn't mean they're less than you. It doesn't mean you need to attack them. That is the thesis behind this. Don't throw shit fits about character listings. Now, if they make a really shitty video, hey, whatever, hit them on it. If they make a shitty video, yeah, go for it. But for the sole fact that they made a character listing, no. If you're just going to get on them because they made this list of saying these are the hottest characters out there, no. Not in the least bit. So everyone, I understand that this was probably a little bit more serious than you like me to be, but uh, for some reason it just kind of got to me. It kind of got under my skin. It really made me want to say something about this. So nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was informative, <laughs> if nothing else. And this is The Professor, and I'm saying to every last one of you a very fine adieu. And I really should be working on that goddamn retrospective and not doing this.